This is my first YouTube video. And in my first YouTube video, I want to go ahead and talk about the explosion of AI and AI tools. And one of those tools that I'm going to be reviewing in real time um, is going to be Temple Labs. Like this is similar if you've heard about Bolt AI, Lovable, um, Cursor. Well, Cursor is more of a VS Code thing. Um, and also Windsurf, more of a VS Code. But this is going to be having the same type of concepts as Lovable, as Bolt.new, meaning that you're able to go ahead and come to this website and uh, let's go through this in real time. Uh, basically, you would just go to templelabs.ai. Uh, once you sign up or create an account, you're able to go ahead and see this here. So you're able to go ahead and kind of create your account and it asks you what you want to do. Uh, you can connect your GitHub. You can start from the blank canvas or you can go ahead and generate an app. So what we're going to do is generate the app. We're going to go ahead and hit continue or next. And then here we can kind of go ahead and see um, the ideas that, that uh, we can go ahead and create. And then what I'm going to do is just let me see if I can just pick an idea. Yeah, let's just go with this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and click generate. And then once I generate this, it's going to go ahead and come up to this dashboard. And then it's going to tell us what the feature is, what we're actually building. And then um, it's going to go ahead and start creating a, a workflow. As we can see right now, it looks like there's um, syntax errors uh, in text, but it's still building the workflow uh, or the user flow. As you can go ahead and kind of see that now it's in the design phase so it is going to go ahead and start building the design uh like i said this is going to be comparable to lovable and bolt.new the good thing about this is that it gives you like i said a, kind of like a mind map it shows you everything that it's doing um you know each page it's building out each um, section for you you can go to the PDR, you can go ahead and see the, the user flow, you can kind of get a, a, well, you can definitely get a high level understanding as to what this is going to be building. So if you want to explain it to somebody, you definitely can. Um, you can add to this as well. So if you want to go ahead and write that out, you can do that. And as you can go ahead and see to the right, it's still building out the dashboard. And then it also has um, a functionality where you can go ahead and talk to or chat with uh, tap uh, Temple Labs. But um, the good thing that is about this is that it gives you 500,000 tokens daily. Um, so you don't necessarily have to have an account. And then once you're able to go ahead and you know start building and start generating and then start seeing exactly your designs come to life, you can go ahead and see right here that it's looks like it's done, but it's still going through the process. But um, you're able to go and it, it gives you more information than if you're a coder, you, you kind of like to know exactly what is going on here. But if you're not really interested in all of this, you definitely do have the option to, to go to like bolt.new or lovable. But again, this is something that um, um, I think is better than Replit because Replit still has the conversation uh, style. Um, you still are able to go ahead and make sure that you are up to date uh, with the uh, like super base for your database or if you wanted to go ahead and create a stripe connection you can still do that but this gives you like it, it feels like it's in real time uh where you're able to kind of see exactly what this is going to going to create for you uh, i wanted to show you like what it does look like so it is taking a little bit of time to load so that's one thing that i would uh kind of say that it, it is time consuming but again this is faster than you just building the uh, a website from scratch or a dashboard from scratch. This is actually doing it for you as long as you um, have the correct prompts and logic in order to go ahead and build this out here. Let me see if I can tell this to do something, fix any issues because I just want to see it work. Um, once it gets down to, you know, working the way it needs to, you do have the ability to go ahead and click share. And then um, once you're clicking on share, you're, you're able to go ahead and, you know, save it, uh, deploy it, uh, add emails that you'd want to go ahead and see. So other people's emails, 
and then you can go ahead and copy the link and um, either store it locally if you wanted to or open locally. But those are the share options. Um, we'll, we'll see exactly what it's going to do because right now it does not look like it's loading, which kind of stinks. And I, and I do want to go ahead before I end this video, my first video, don't forget to, you know, I've, I've been practicing this and I forgot it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But um, the description is going to be uh, below. But overall, is that as you can go ahead and see, it kind of looks like it's still working. But I want to see if the demo works. Come on. Yeah, it looks like it's still blank. So I think... That you're going to be able to see this here. Um, let me see if I can zoom in. But uh, as you can go ahead and see, it's, it's, it's the dashboard. This is just going to be good for MVPs. This is going to be something that you can go ahead and uh, create here and just uh, kind of uh, take a look at this over time as to what you need to go ahead and, and create. The nice thing about this is if I was to click on, you know, the performance, oops, if I was to select the platform performance, as you can see, it kind of pops up in the storyboard right here. And then you can go ahead and uh, ask it a, what it needs to go ahead and build and uh, kind of kind of work on each page as needed. So that way you don't need to mess up any other page. You can just kind of work on the page that you need to update there. Let me see again if it is going to give us anything on this page as a preview and it doesn't look like it's given us a preview so that's one thing that i would say that probably needs to be fixed is just that uh seeing how the preview works the nice thing about this is that you can see the code that it's writing out so if you're big on coding uh, you can kind of go ahead and see the back end as to how it was built uh you see the design obviously you see all the designs all the pages or all the all the components on this page and then you're also able to go ahead and see the flowchart and a description of what you're building. So that way you get all the whole, the whole big picture um, as to what you're building there. And again, um, you're able to go ahead and say, hey, you know, you get 500,000 to use. After you're done with the 500,000, um, you, you can go ahead and click on upgrade or you can wait the next day and uh, kind of build from there. I would say that this is probably a, a good step in the right direction. Um, because you're able to uh, kind of see everything in real time, you're, you're able to kind of play around with the code if you want to go ahead and go into the back end. Uh, but when it comes down to like, you know, viewing the app, which we've tried to do several times, it doesn't look like it's working. So that's the only thing that I would uh, definitely go ahead and say that Tempo Labs is not in real time giving you something you can go ahead and, and kind of uh, use or see uh, it fully functional. But with that being said, I still would recommend this if you're basically new to coding or you just want to go ahead and get an MVP started uh, because what you can do is that, you, like I said, you can come over here, you can deploy this, and then you'll be able to go ahead and um, see that in real time. But you can definitely build this out as needed uh, by just talking and interacting with the chatbot. But other than that, that is my review. Do I give it like stars? Probably like, you know, out of, out of 10, probably a seven out of 10, uh, because obviously the issue with kind of seeing the preview in real time, it was not working, but I do like all the components that it does have, but if you have any questions or you guys want me to kind of, um, go over another video or, uh, lovable or even bolt.new, I can go ahead and um, set that up. But this is a wrap. We are done. Check this out. I'm not getting paid or anything to sponsor this. I just wanted to kind of show you what new tools are coming out. And uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below.